Oh, I guess this is interesting enough to do. Let me do that. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, I remember <laughs> that's why I wrote this long um, format in uh, instruction last time, because um, I was intending to use the instruction for alpha decay also with the beta decay. As I was describing, um, the conserved quantities are different between different types of decays with the beta minus decay that emits an electron, the mass number will stay the same. Uh, uh, one of the nucleons turns into another nucleon, the mass number still stays at 90, um, but it'll change a little. And, um, and then as it changes, um, uh, we'll have to account for so SR uh, 90 will turn into something that has a still mass number of 90 plus, and one of the particles that are emitted in beta minus decay is electron. And in order to conserve charge, this should have one more positive charge than strontium. I think that's what SR is. Um, so you should have one atomic number higher than strontium. Again, I don't actually I, I don't know a periodic table at that high end. Uh, SR, I, is it even strontium? Okay, it is a strontium. Okay, so that's going to turn into why I don't think that's ytterbium. Uh, ytterium? Is that ytterium? Okay, ytterium. <laughs> so that's going to turn into ytterium. Um, I used to have a colleague who worked with ytterbium. Ytterbium has B in it. Um, okay, uh, let's make sure that that uh, doesn't think that's correct. Okay, uh, I think it does by number of characters. So let me see what I missed. Um, oh, I know what I missed. So this is something um, your textbook covers that I don't quite cover in lecture until we get to particle physics, because until we get to particle physics, I'm kind of... Um, ignoring the neutrino. I'm kind of pretending that I don't know about neutrino, but there should be a neutrino here. Uh, it has to do with lepton number conservation that we'll actually talk about in chapter 11 overview today. Um, so electron has a lepton number of one. I need an anti-neutrino to um, have carry away the lepton number of minus one. So it should have uh, electron anti-neutrino, but for now it says don't worry about indicating particle and particle distinction. So I won't. I'll just put in plus mu. Yeah. So that should not be right. <laughs> okay. So it says to find the energy released in the decay. Um, yeah. Uh, please note that the given masses are for neutral atoms. So, so with the beta decay, because it's uh, explicitly dealing with electrons. I think it's a reasonable um, to ask you to deal with account for that mass of the electron. So, um, so for the we'll start out with the strontium. So mass of strontium ninety. We're gonna treat that as being neutral, and we are subtracting off the mass of yttrium ninety, and then I'm gonna add a mass of elect uh, mass of electron, because if I simply say mass of yttrium that only includes uh, how many electrons? Yttrium is at 39, it's so, oh wait, 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 I need to subtract. So whenever I say mass of strontium, that includes the 38 electrons. When I say yttrium, it includes the mass of the um, mass of 39 electrons. So I need to actually subtract of one mass of electron. And um, for the beta particle electron, I need to add a uh, oh, mass of electron. So those two things are going to cancel out. I can leave that in. It's fine. Wolfram Alpha will do the cancellation for me. And neutrino, you can treat them as being massless. Um, they are practically massless on this scale. No. And yeah, practically massless. We actually don't know the rest of energy of electron neutrino. Um, yeah, well, well, let's talk, leave that for chapter 11. There's a reason I delayed that for chapter 11. So this calculation in MEV per C squared, uh, I'm calculating mass. So the correct unit would be MEV per C squared. And uh, for the kinetic energy released, I can just uh, ignore the C squared. So yeah, 
And you can see how, how small this is, especially compared to the electron rest energy, 0 0.511. So the electron um, beta particle that's released here, it's like basically barely relativistic, where the, the kinetic energy starts to be comparable to the rest energy. So 0 0.546, 0 0.546. And here, if you don't account for that rest energy of electron, your answer will be graded as incorrect. And I think all that's reasonable, especially because you should see this now. No. 